Shout out to uh, Angry Mr. Bungle, I do believe. I said that right. Uh, yeah, if I didn't, Bungle. Yeah, I'm looking it up right now. Angry Mr. Bungle uh, on my IGN. Uh, he gave me a shout out on his blog and said I was awesome and people should follow me. So I'm giving him a shout out on my blog and saying he is awesome and people should follow him. No, seriously, he's much more awesomer than me. Please go follow him. Um, that opening theme song. Uh, was uh, from James Bond Jr. on the NES, if no one noticed that, which you probably didn't because it sounded like crap. Um, I was looking for something James Bondy because uh, the other day I finally pre-ordered the new GoldenEye game on the Wii. So uh, I'm kind of hyped up about that. I sort of was saving my nickels and dimes and making sure I'd be able to and you know, getting some bills paid, you know, that whole thing. You can't really justify doing certain things when you know you have certain bills looming. So after you pay the bills, you kind of feel a little better about it, I think. Bills have been paid, I cashed in my change, brought back some cans and bottles, that kind of stuff. And I had enough money to uh, do two things. Pre-order James Bond GoldenEye on uh, the Wii, and uh, today I went out and I bought Kirby Epic Yarn. I'll get to that a little later. And so uh, that's why I was trying to find a suitable NES retro title theme song that would sort of fit at the beginning, and all I could find was James Bond Jr. in my massive uh, collection of retro gaming crap. I was kind of disappointed. I was really hoping for the whole uh, dun 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 and I didn't get it. I got that instead. So uh, I actually remember the old James Bond Jr. Um, cartoon. Quite honestly, it's quite deceiving because he's not really James Bond's son. He's his nephew, as they explained in the cartoon. It was a fun little cartoon, if I do recall properly. I never really played the video game, I don't believe. I probably played a few seconds of it at a friend's house at one time, uh, but uh, that was uh, from the game. And uh, oddly enough, from my little research I did, Eurocom, who is making the uh, re-imaging of Goldeneye on the Wii, made James Bond Jr. on the NES. All those go! So it was like one of their first games that they made. It was like, feels kind of odd. It's kind of like a full circle thing. Well, it wasn't technically James Bond. It was James Bond Jr., but kind of kind of interesting, huh? Uh, you know, full circle, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I'm really excited about uh, GoldenEye. Um, I managed to see a little more footage of it over the weekend um, during the whole Extra Life Marathon for charity that they that everyone was doing. IGN.com sort of had a live feed up and they uh, they showcased GoldenEye multiplayer and um, it wasn't necessarily late where they were but it was late where I was when I uh, watched it so I think it was like uh, midnight basically uh, when I finally did uh, get to see the multiplayer and it looked kind of fun it, basically from what I can see from it it was uh, the equivalent of Call of Duty meets James Bond, and it's, uh, honestly, they should say that. At least for the multiplayer, they should say, uh, it's kind of like Call of Duty, only with James Bond characters, because that's kind of what it looks like to me. I mean, it has everything, your melee strike, uh, being able to aim down the scope of your gun, uh, having grenades to throw, uh, so, you know, it's being put out by Activision, so I'm pretty sure that was kind of one of the requirements, like, if you're going to make this, make it like Call of Duty. And, you know, then we'll sell more. Uh, I don't think the single player is... I'm not sure about that, uh, how Call of Duty-ish it is. It looks more movie 
Call uh, movie-ish, not Call of Duty-ish, movie-ish. Um, from what I saw, I saw a few uh, videos online of the first, uh, the opening scenes of uh, GoldenEye, and it uh, looked very epic. It was definitely a different um, look and experience that we've seen on the Wii, at least, and I'm really excited for that. It had a very cinematic, that's the word I'm looking for, cinematic. I should really have a dictionary in front of me, then you'll just hear me flipping through pages every... 10 seconds for about a minute and then I'll be like cinematic that's the word I'm looking for so yeah uh, it looked very cinematic and fun and I can't wait to get my hands on that and I uh, can't wait to take it online as well I'm not really sure they say of course you're gonna get perks and uh, able to level up with your online play not your home split screen play which I think is kinda dumb I mean why should you not be able to level up by playing locally versus playing online. That seems kind of odd to me. So, uh, you know, but then again, I guess people could just sit there and make a bunch of fake split-screen matches and get a bunch of headshots and level up their character. But I don't know. I guess you could do it where your um, offline uh, local uh, multiplayer character is different from your online character, so you can't bring your uh, offline character online. So they could do something like that. Still, someone could completely overpower their character or something like that. But uh, still, uh, that'd be uh, kind of cool, I think. So, uh, the single player, I'm not sure if it'll be Call of Duty. As I said, it'll be more single player, um, would be more cinematic like. Uh, but uh, multiplayer looks very similar to that. So, from what I can see, I haven't had any hands on experience with it, but it still looks fun. I don't care. If you're going to make something that's. If you're going to copy multiplayer, you might as well copy Call of Duty because a lot of people still think that's the best multiplayer you're gonna have on any system so might as well put it on the Wii so I'm quite excited about that so yeah when I did pre-order the um, GoldenEye uh, game I got the collector's edition which comes with the Golden Classic controller so that's kind of exciting uh, I was really really torn between two different collector's editions which, uh, you know, everyone knows, of course, if you're going to get a collector's edition of a game, it's basically going to cost you a couple bucks more, uh, at least 10 to 20 bucks more. I think the uh, classic controller edition of GoldenEye uh, is, uh, was 69 bucks. I ordered it off of Amazon. It was 69 bucks. A day of delivery, though, which I think only cost me $2 more, so that wasn't too bad. So, ouch. <laughs> yeah, luckily... I did have the funds for it, so, and it'll be worth it. Another game, though, I saw that had a, a collector's edition was Disney's uh, little uh, Epic Mickey game that's coming out at the end of November, and I'm torn. Uh, I was very torn between pre-ordering that or pre-ordering GoldenEye, and ultimately went with GoldenEye, even though the collector's edition with Epic Mickey was so much better. Uh, but I, I went with GoldenEye because that's a game I can experience with friends when they come over. We can play that together. Where uh, if they come over and see me playing Epic Mickey, they'll be like, y "You're you're playing as Mickey Mouse? What? Are you two? Well, I guess so. But with GoldenEye, I can play multiplayer with. Uh, Epic Mickey was just looked sweet with the collector's edition. It would come with a DVD. Uh, with behind the scenes features it looks like it came with posters and probably the coolest little thing was that it comes with a uh, five inch little figurine of Mickey Mouse uh, holding his little uh, magic paintbrush and of course uh, everyone knows if you get anything figurine wise uh, that's Disney that's instantly a collectible right there so that was kind of cool but alas uh, I uh, opted against it and I went in GoldenEye because uh, I've been waiting for that a little longer and it comes with a class controller and I could uh, friends would be able to play that with me more. Uh, I'm, I'm going to shoot for Epic Mickey for Christmas. Uh, I, I hear my wife's already working on my mom for getting it, so that's kind of cute. Uh, but anyway, who knows. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, if anything, check it out. Uh, the Classic Edition on Amazon is actually cheaper uh, uh, for Epic Mickey. Is I think it was like $94 or something like that versus, or not 94 wow, 60 Four dollars, yeah, not ninety-four dollars, sixty-four dollars, um, versus GoldenEye, where it was sixty-nine dollars. So uh, you know, if you are a big-time Mickey fan and you, you don't really care much for first-person shooters, definitely go and pre-order it. At least on Amazon.com. I don't know. 
a collector's edition, definitely. So, um, like I said earlier, I ended up getting uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn earlier today, which I'm uh, recording this very, very early in the morning. In fact, it's the next day, but uh, and I've only played a, about a few levels of it, and it's the most gosh darn cute game I've ever played in my life and still had fun with. And, uh, you know, uh, Kirby's one of those weird characters that uh, a really masculine grown man will actually play and admit that they play it. It's kind of weird. This little pink puff ball. In this case, he's a pink yarn ball. Uh, but it's definitely fun. Um, it's not entirely uh, hugely challenging. It is in a way, but it isn't. Like, there's, it's, ve it's very much pushed towards the, the kids. Uh, it has a very storybook literally storybook story they have a guy who's narrating the story and he's reading it like a storybook like oh kirby went and ate a tomato and he met a new friend and chaos ensued blah 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 and he says it in a very soothing nice voice in fact uh i one of the reasons why i got it is so i figured my son would be able to enjoy it in the future when he's able to play video games and he'd like the whole storybook aspect of it but it's it's very very cute and uh, you can't die in it and the reason why, of course, the game's more about collecting. There's gems all over the place that you're supposed to collect and hidden items and stuff like that. And, of course, when you get to the end of the level, you're kind of rated on how many items you were able to find. So it was basically based off of uh, if you manage to find enough, you'll get a gold. If you found only a little, you'll get a silver. If you found barely, you'd get a bronze. If you didn't find any... Uh, you'll basically get nothing, <laughs> of course. And so that's what's kind of rated off, because you, you can't die, literally. So it's great for kids, and um, and if they don't care about the whole gold medal thing, they can pretty much fly through the game without too much care in the world. So it's one of those games that you're, a little kid can play, and you know they, they might get frustrated, but they're not going to worry about getting the game over screen, basically. And of course, the grown-ups can enjoy it because it has the challenge of trying to get through the level without getting hit with keeping all your gems, which starts off easy, but it starts getting really challenging after that, basically, so uh, to try not to get hit. So, uh, And there's a multiplayer aspect. You can play two players, um, which I haven't tried out yet, but it looks very fun. Every, you can pick up each other from the review say you can one person can pick up the other and throw them into an enemy and use them to get to places that you, you can't really get to on your own or the such and so that's kind of fun i love all these little multiplayer elements that nintendo's putting in it's not really extremely nostalgic it has very classic arcade uh play to it but it's not like your typical kirby game you don't suck up enemies uh, you kind of grab them with your yarn and you can transform into all these little uh, things like cars and tanks and a uh, fire truck and the such. And it's all very, very cute. And there's all these little elements. So it still has a traditional Kirby feel. It's just slightly different, you know. And uh, it's definitely fun. Uh, Kirby fans will love it. Kids will love it, you know. Hardcore platform gamers, probably not so much. But, you know, what are you going to do? But uh, I'm going to play. I'm off all week, so I'm probably going to play it some more, among other things, with my other errands. And I'll see. Maybe I'll give a review here soon. That will be kind of nice. Uh, I know I said on my last blog that I was going to uh, do a Halloween theme this week, but uh, on my next blog, but I think I'm going to do that on my next one, due to the fact that uh, it's still kind of early. I'm going to be carving pumpkins uh, this week, so that'll kind of put me in the mood, and I'll probably feel more like doing a Halloween vlog next time. So, anyway, as always, I want to hear back from you. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe if you like this, so you can I encourage me to do more. And uh, I'll uh, be back next time with a little more Halloween cheer. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, as always, until next time, game fans, this is Twitch. Keep playing!